thought I would make this chart just to explain a little bit more about the tone wheels and how they relate to the musical notes. Every tone wheel within the same octave band has the same number of teeth. So in the first octave band you have 12 notes, so there's 12 tone wheels and every single tone wheel has two teeth. The thing that makes the notes different is the gearing and the RPM. Okay. Now when you get into the second octave band, the thing that's different is instead of two teeth, they have four teeth. So these 12 wheels are turning at the same RPMs as these, but since they have twice as many teeth, they're playing an octave higher. Okay, and then here's the third octave band, and so on. So you got 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Okay, that covers seven octaves. When you get up to octave 8, instead of 256 teeth, I guess they decided that was too many teeth to cut, so instead they cut 192. Now, so then these have to turn at different speeds than the course, the, the C note up here would have to turn at a different RPM than all these other C's. So what they did was they basically looked around through all their gear ratios for all the different notes and picked a gear ratio that was close. So these notes here in octave 8, these are approximate notes. They're not exact like the other ones are. They're not perfect octaves, but they're pretty close. And that covers seven notes. I think this goes up to, F, to an F sharp. And then the remaining five, remember there's 12 notes in an octave, so the remaining five are just blank wheels. And they're on there just to balance out the tone wheel pairs. So that gives you 91 functioning tone wheels with teeth, and five blank ones get you up to 96 wheels. So my 91 tone, tone wheel generator actually has 91 with teeth and 5 blanks, 96 total.